Welcome to this look at a new map on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. This is Swiss Future Farm by Oxygen David. 195.19 megabytes download on console. Uh, mod type says 205, so around about that. Now, is this the first version of Swiss Future Farm we've had on console? No, the previous version we had was the special award winner. And that was by DD Mod Passion, Mirror Z, and Marco Fiat 850. So this is Oxygen David's version. This has recently been updated. Um, it says updated farm to present look, added and tweaked areas the Swiss future farm requested, added animals, pigs, horses, calves, and cows. We'll get to that in a little while. Lots of other graphical and gameplay tweaks. This is a replica of the real life farm and surroundings in. Switzerland, based in Tenaton, Ettenhausen, Thurgau, 534 metres above sea level. There is 81 hectares of agricultural area in total. The map looks like this. The area within the red line is the map. Now that's the real life PDA, that's what it looks like, uh, like Google Earth type view. So all the stuff within the red line is what Swiss Future Farm operates runs it is a little bit like the horse aggravation farm in that it's a sort of test facility but not for one specific brand and they are testing all sorts of uh, new agricultural techniques and equipment and you know drones and cameras and you know you name it that they test it that's the point i'm on new farmer normal economy that's what you start with on New Farmer. The periphery of the map is all of this, and it's zero, which does encompass some bits within the lines, so to speak. The biogas plant, if we zoom in, is up here. That is part of the periphery, which costs uh, zero to buy. Field prices, I have to say, are pretty good. There aren't that many fields, obviously. This isn't an extensive map. This is literally the Swiss Future Farm. So you can farm and operate on the, the stuff they do. So we do start with quite a few fields. 11, 12, 13, 16. Uh, fields 3 and 5 down the bottom as well. But like I say, field prices, not bad. 195. I think that's a separate plot. 194. They're not overly expensive. Now, there isn't any uh, forestry on here because that's not part of what they do could you add something if you wanted to you could convert a field over plant some trees and do some forestry if you wanted to are there custom crops on this map there aren't the only mod that is custom to this one is the horse paddock we'll have a look at what we start with in just a moment there are 50 plus new hd models made by oxygen david custom grass textures there's a, a water texture which is just incredible but let's go into the facility itself now you might see bottom left hand corner a cluster of dots now it's probably not a bad time to talk about slot count it actually isn't as bad as i thought it was going to be probably because it's not a massive map 645 out of 1299 slots used that's on new farmer farm manager and start from scratch you start with all the machinery difference is on farm manager and start from scratch you don't have any land so you'd have to buy your land but you do start with all the same machinery on all three if you sell every piece of machinery the slot count goes from six four five down to seven uh, down to seven down to 373 slots six four five to three seven three which is pretty impressive contracts are available on this map also, directly in front of me, in this building here, is the workshop trigger with one of our tractors in. And I say one of our tractors because we start off with 12. <laughs> you heard me. <laughs> 12. So, let's go to our garage, shall we? We start with two Valtra N174s. We start with a Fent 313 Vario, a Fent 3. 10 Vario. We start with the Massey Ferguson 5613, a Fent Favorite 515, a Massey Ferguson 5610, a Fent Favorite 511C, two Valtra A104s, a Fent 724 Vario, a Valtra T234. That is 12, isn't it? Let me go back and just count. I'm sure I counted 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, twelve tractors. Oh, you know, you don't need twelve. I, well, I wouldn't say you need twelve, but you know, it's because it's a test facility. They've got tractors of all different sizes for all different things. Uh, we do start with an ideal 8T. We do start with the Massey Ferguson Activa 7347S, Massey Ferguson 9407 Telehandler, trailer, headers for both the harvesters. We've got a plow, cultivator, uh, power harrow, seeder, weeder, mowers, front loader attachment gear, header trailers, weights, and the horse paddock. There is no sleep trigger on this map. As standard, you can put your sleep trigger on here wherever you want to, so you'd probably want to bring in a modded one whatever in whatever way, shape, or form, doormat, deck chairs, camper vans, whatever it might be. Um, so, yeah, no set in place sleep trigger. If we continue around, we'll have a look and see where all of the gear is stored. The telehandler is in that one. The massive Ferguson 7347 is tucked away in there. So we've seen the workshop trigger that's here, right, this building here has got a few tractors and a few bits of machinery, the Fent Ideal, Smart Farming, work smarter, not harder, I think that's the whole point isn't it, like the precision farming stuff and a lot of these facilities that are kind of popping up everywhere it's about pushing the boundaries of science and agriculture agriculture together um, to to be as efficient as possible we have two silage clamps bunk silage if i open up my help menu you'll see fill level and compacting on both of these now not all of the buildings open not all of them are accessible A lot are, but not all of them. Um, where's the rest of our equipment? I think it's the other end of this building. It does become a bit of a hunt. Oh, there's some more weights just tucked there. Now, I haven't come across a seed refill point or fertiliser buy point or anything like that. More in here. I don't know if we've got lights. I mean, there are lights, but I don't know... I haven't encountered a light switch anywhere. I would assume from that they're automatic. Lots of door opening, there you go. A whole load more in here. We've got some more stuff across the road we're going to have a look at in just a minute. A bit more here, you know, just because why not? Uh, this is the reset point. If you need to reset anything, it resets here, not to the main store. We will get to the main store later on as well. As we move on through the yard, we've got another fence just across the bridge here. Actually, I want to show the water. The water is reflective. Look, it's reflective. It's amazing. It has got a bit of a ripple. It is moving. You see the flow of it? With the reflection of everything in it. Love it. Uh, so we've got a fence there. We're going to get across that in just a second. Now, up around the back here, we have got a pig pen, which is up here. Slurry and manure. Actually, slurry's there. I assumed that was the manure point, but it doesn't look like manure. The slurry point is definitely there. This is for the pigs. Now, in the real world, the farm, as I said, is 81 hectares. That is split into 55 hectares of arable, 20 hectares of grassland, and 6 hectares of biodiversity. They run the cow farm currently, as far as I can tell from the website, 65 cows and 55 sows they have on hand. Oh, this does have a required mod as well. The required mod is the Horsch Tirano 4 FX by Tycon Ket. That auto downloaded. So as soon as I download, uh, installed the map, it auto downloaded that mod. So it says required mod, but it did auto download. So they are, they do have cows and sows on site as it stands. The trigger for your pigs is here. This will hold 500 pigs. Your feed trough is here. Your water trough is here, and your straw bedding point is here. Now this is narrow. 
There's not a lot of room. Getting in and out is a little bit tricky. When you put the animals in, let's put one in. Confirm. It puts them in this section here. They kind of go around the back and in there. Just looking to see actually then for the manure. That's interesting. That's definitely slurry. One thing I didn't check. I came on here and I put feed and water and everything into all of these different points to see and didn't think to check the manure where that comes out because the other seemed fairly obvious. But anyway, that's your pigs. Could be around here, maybe. It's a weird little dip there. And then we cross over the river and we have got the other side of the road, we've got the cows. We've got cows. And cut for, isn't that weird? That's a bird. I looked up and thought, is that a drone? It wasn't moving there. <laughs> it's a bird. So, this side of the river, we've got another fence. This building we can't get into. But, this side is cows. This side is calves. Oh, custom lighting as well. Look, bright sun. So, open the door. As we come in here, the animal dialogue box for the calves is here. We can have black and white, black or brown calves. This will hold 50 calves. The calves require straw and milk. Both triggers were just in here for straw and milk for the calves. That's all they require. And if we come across the other side, milk point is there, but the dialogue box opens here. This is for the cows. This will hold 500 cows. The trigger for water, straw and feed was literally just as we come in here, as we come in the door, right about here. So no difficulty, I, I had no difficulty with feeding or anything like that. This one for the cows, the manure and slurry is up here at the back. And for the calves, it's down the other end. There is a railway line that runs along here, and there is a train that runs along it every now and again. I think it goes, I'm pretty sure it goes both ways. I think it does. There are no cell points on the railway line, it's just uh, standard. If we go right the way through and out the other side of here. We've got the manure point. Now the calves only make manure, they don't make milk. Obviously they're drinking milk, not making it. That, in essence, is the main farm, with all the machinery that we start with. And it is a fair bit, actually. What I'll do from here is cross the road. What I'll do is turn that one off, but we'll leave the map on. So, cross the road, we'll get some more. There we go. We've got some more equipment and machinery over this side. This is where the plough. We've got a header and header trailer regular trailer in here i think we've got another tractor we've got the voucher and the other header and header trailer and a few front loader bits and bobs we've also got a line point just there and we've got our silo the silo is fixed in place that's not sellable it's not part of the stuff you can sell it is here fixed very nice right i'm going to grab actually i'm going to grab the voucher from here i think might as well, seeing as we're here. Let's grab the little A104. And let's head out. We'll go to the store first, then we'll come back and we'll go around. It feels a little bit odd in so much as because it's been done to represent the Swiss Future Farm and all the fields that it has. Because of the way everything's delineated by that kind of red line. Roads you drive along that you kind of, your mind says you need to continue on. You, you can't because you're kind of blocked... I'll show you the route we need to go, but... And I think that's the thing about it as well, the map isn't huge because of that fact as well. So we can whiz, so whiz past. We're going to take a left just here. Out to the store. Now up on the hillside to the left, I looked over and I thought there was a vehicle up there up on that by that field the closer I got it looked like a tank and as I got up to it it's actually just a, a bush <laughs> a hedge I thought I've got to go up and have a look at that but no it's not um, there's your buy point at the store and you sell repair 
and customize points is up here but like I said this is not the reset point when you buy it will appear here but if you reset it resets back to the farmyard did I show you where it resets not sure if I did because it's quite tight I'll be honest Let's whiz back. We've got to drive past her anyway, so might as well. So going back, the, when you look at the map, you think, well, I need to kind of go north. The temptation is to go that way, but unfortunately you kind of reach another boundary if you go that way. If we go in here quickly and then back out again. I might have said, I did say the reset point was at the yard, it is here. But it's quite tight. So you think for big machinery and stuff, if you reset anything, there's not a lot of room there to reset. And can I get out this way? Have I just penned myself in? Penned? Hemmed? I have pen hemmed myself. Right. Back out. And let's go and see the other cell points on the map. Didn't look where I was going, but no mind. Right, we'll go under the road. Uh, under the railway, sorry. On the road. Under the railway. We can continue along that road for a little way, not too far because the fields stretch off that way. So as you can imagine, bending around that way takes us to the field, to the, the boundary. So we need to go up here. We will run alongside the railway and there is a road that runs kind of next to it as well. But we need to stick on this road here. We can go out onto that one if we want to, but this is the one we want to stick to. This is going to take us up to uh, Bramblewood my German is not great, I, mean, I think it's in German, it seems to be in German on here, I know we're in Switzerland and uh, they do speak French a lot I know that I'm going to go this way and the cell points there there aren't that many cell points and I think because you've got the full extent so the map kind of continues although you can't go onto it that's why the field edge and boundary looks kind of neat and tidy and it kind of goes on but obviously you can't the argument could be had that well wouldn't it make may have made more sense to extend it out so you could use all those fields but again it brings us back to the fact this is supposed to just be the swiss future farm and the fields they operate and and where they operate not all the other fields around it i guess so cell point just there Let's have a look at the map of where we've been so far then. So we were at the main farm to start off with. We went out and crossed the road and we checked out the lime station and the store, the cows and the pigs, we did all that. Uh, we then came back across the shop. I then went back and showed the reset point. I'm almost convinced in my head now that I had already shown it, but never mind. We came under the road and out up here, under the road, I keep saying that, under the railway, then out this way, then up here, and we're at Bramblewood, I want to say Sp Spy shirt, spy shirt. Again, I'll just say Bramblewood, but uh, I think that means stores. That word there. What we will do is cut across the grass. Otherwise, we've got to go up to the biogas plant, then come back out to the horses. So what we'll do is we'll cut across. I'm sure we'll know on my mind. So this is the stables, this will hold eight horses, we've got our dialogue box just here for our eight horses, there's feed and water triggers, uh, hay and bedding etc. You can go into this building around the other side, oh that's one thing I did think, I don't know, could be the, the crossover to console, but when you look at everything else around and the map and the detail and the texturing and all that kind of thing, that seemed very flat to me. It seemed to be lacking texture. Well, I'm assuming that's the port over. It just seemed a bit odd. It kind of stood out as I kind of walked around it. I thought, wow, that's, you know. Anyway, there's loads of equipment and stuff under here. I did try to move it, but you can't know some of these things. You can move them. So, that's the horse stables. From the horse stables, we are going to continue up towards the biogas plant. Like I said, the biogas plant is part of the periphery, which is free. It is a standard it is a standard biogas plant taking regular things 
uh, all the things that a biogas plant usually takes. It doesn't take anything extra. I don't think we are going to double check that. But there are no silage clamps bunker silos here at the biogas plant. There are the two at the farm. I suppose you could probably, you might get away with adding one in here. Digestate point is just over there and your cell point is here into the digesters. Let's just double check that. Let's go across at the top biogas plant. Yeah, it is just silage, um, grass, hay, manure and slurry. Nothing for potatoes, sugar beet or anything like that. And then continuing on, this is the narrowest part of the map. You can see the red lines, bottom left hand corner, almost meet here. If we try and go off where the red lines are, we should hit the barrel in a second. That's up there, and there we go. So I say that now, we go a lot further than I thought it was going to. So there is a little bit of leeway. You might be able to maybe mow a bit of grass here and there. It's often iffy when you get to edges of maps and things like that because sometimes it allows you to mow then it won't allow you to collect or windrow and that kind of thing but and then it opens back out again at this end and we come up to the rest of the cell points this is where the livestock market is and these are fairly um, unassuming there's, there's nothing over the top there's nothing been added in again you wouldn't necessarily know this was a livestock market I think again <laughs> Sorry, and I keep harping back to the fact this is the Swiss Future Farm because this is based on a real place. I don't suppose, like with, with a lot of maps that are based on real places, some of the cell points and things, they don't exist in the real world. So map makers have to use a little bit of, you know, a little bit of leeway here and there to add things in to allow them to be playable. So this is your livestock market just here. Your spinnery cell point is just there. This cell point here is the... I say Eichel, I think it's Eichel, and then we've got the daisy chain cell point just here. We will have a look at them on the map and on here. So daisy chain is pretty much barn cell point. Eichel is a main cell point, and then obviously the spinnery is your spinnery cell point for cotton and wool. These, have we gone, we've gone from here, we cut across the horses, then we came up to the biogas plant, we come out here, animal, dealer, spinnery, Eichel and daisy, uh, daisy chain. And then it goes up around here to the top two fields, or top three, I guess. Yeah, 24 and 25 are up here as well. Um, that, that's the map. That's all of it. I'm looking down my list to see, did I miss anything off? I don't think so. Yeah, that's it. That's Swiss Future Farm. By Oxygen David. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. If you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.